Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Chromatic Craft tutorial series. Uh, in this episode, we're going to take a look at something a bit more simple, but all, no, nonetheless useful. Uh, and that's this over here, which is the Crystal Tank. So, Chromatic Craft's Crystal Tank uh, is a multi-block structure that allows you to store vast quantities of fluids. Um, I'm sure we can all think of uh, several tech mods that uh, you would need a large amount of some sort of fluid. Rotary craft, of course, can generate lots of different fluids. Reactor craft, but then other non reka mods that you know can generate fluids. I mean, you could store from build craft these like you could probably store an entire oil spout's worth of oil in one crystal tank. Is what we're talking about here. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty awesome little thing and uh, quite quite useful. The crystal tank controller blocks are not extremely cheap but the crystal tank blocks are. So let's take a look. If you open your chromic lexicon and you scroll over, just go down a little bit so you get to these uh, le levels here, and you go over to pylon casting, you'll find the crystal tank controller, which will tell you about it. It makes references to applied energistics. It also makes references to mysterious metal boxes. I think, oh, it's, I think this is talking about railcraft tanks, maybe. I don't know. Um, few tens of thousands of buckets but here you can have uh, way more so the capacity on this is is uh, based on the number of um, crystal tank blocks uh, the, the equation is four times n plus three squared so because of this the squared here the power uh, it's gonna rise exponentially and, and get larger so this can very quickly reach uh, extremely large uh, capacities up to two million buckets it's not uh, millibuckets that's uh, straight up buckets. So let's go ahead and uh, and craft this now. In order to cast yourself the the controller, uh, you do need a couple of runes. Um, if you've reached this stage, probably you know normally you probably have a lot of runes in this in this place already. You're gonna need these Kiro runes. Um, three to the uh, the east and uh, two blocks to the north. One block below the uh, casting table. You'll just need those two Kiro runes. Uh, in place in order to actually uh, cast this. Uh, so let's get going. So the first component of your oh wait the first component of your crystal tank controller is a void core. So you're going to need one of these. The void core is crafted with a crystal core. This is what needs those Kuro runes. And then you need this array of things. So Void Essence, Boosted Kuro, and Boosted Tahara Shards. Now Void Essence is what comes from Void Reads, so you can farm this stuff. So we'll put our Crystal Core in the middle. Place our Void Essence. And then we'll place... Uh, these Boosted Kuro Shards go in two layers di uh, on the diagonals. Oops, what am I doing? And then our boosted Tahara shards are going to go around like that. There we go. Void core. So let's go ahead and cast that. Now that we have a void core, we can actually cast the uh, tank controller. So the void core goes in the middle, as cores usually are wont to do. Then we have to surround it with this stuff. So you're going to need fluidic ingots, which comes from the alloying process with uh, fluid essence and gold. Not that expensive. And uh, then we're going to need some fluid essence, which you just um, acquire from, uh, I think, fluid stone or something. I think, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a blue stone. Let me take a look. World gen. This stuff. Fluid stone. We're also going to require some boosted Vidali shards, glass, and obsidian. So let's go ahead and place that stuff. Boosted Vidali shards go in the corners here. And then we'll just grab all this stuff. Oh, I already had a... Wait, what was that? Oh, I had more boosted Vidali shards? Wait, what? Those are my boosted shards right there. What are these? They are boosted shards. Well, that's weird. I didn't think I grabbed more. Alright. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and finish this. Uh, obsidian on the cardinal directions on the outside. Glass goes like so, diagonally in the corners. 
our fluid essence goes right around the four uh, the cardinal directions right there in the center and then the fluid ingots fluidic ingots go in the corners and now we'll be able to cast it you just need some Vidali and Kuro energy so let's take a look at the exact amount for you 1500 lumens uh, more than half of which is Vidali and then some Kuro about two-thirds of a dolly, probably. Um, probably a bit more than that, actually. Or maybe a bit less. I don't know. There we go. Now we have a crystal tank controller. You're going to need one of these for your tank, and then you're going to want some uh, crystal tank blocks. These are really cheap. You get four of them for this recipe. One diamond and eight glass. So, yeah. Just, uh, just mass-produce this. You're going to want a lot of these, and since they're so cheap, there's no reason not to make a ton of them. The thing about the crystal tank is that as you get more blocks in it, each block starts to add more capacity. So let's go break this, and I can show you from the start. So here's our crystal tank controller. By default, it has a capacity of uh, 64,000 millibuckets, right? which is not very good. That's the capacity of a standard rotary craft reservoir, and it's a lot more expensive. If we right-click on it, we can see this nice little GUI where it shows you the percentage of, uh, of fill and how many buckets that, uh, that is. I like this GUI a lot. And then it tells you down here your tank size, one by one by one equals one, and then the capacity, the four N squared, uh, to get the 64 bucket capacity. All right, so what we want to do now is add crystal tank blocks. So if I add one, our capacity goes up to 100,000. So it added uh, 36,000. So now tank size one by one by two equals two, four and squared, 100 buckets. And this is adjusted as well to show us that. Now as we add more of these, we can see this one added uh, 50,000 capacity. And this one added uh, another 50,000. This one added 70,000. This one adds 70,000 again. This one adds uh, more than that. <laughs> I'm already losing track. So we got from 340,000 to 420,000, which is 80,000. And then 90,000. And now we've added 100,000. And now we're adding 11, uh, you know, 110,000. And now 120,000, 130,000. So you can see what's happening here. As we add more blocks, each block is adding progressively larger amounts of capacity. We've quickly reached, uh, oops, we quickly reach uh, 1.2 million millibuckets or 1.2 thousand uh, buckets of capacity with only 12 of these crystal tank blocks so as you can tell if you add like a whole bunch you know, you're gonna get a lot of capacity we're up to 5.2 thousand buckets you know a capacity of 5 million millibuckets so with 30 blocks so yeah pretty big stuff so let me grab some liquid pipe and we're just gonna pipe some liquid chroma in here with an infinite reservoir. At least it's supposed to be an infinite reservoir. Yeah, it's infinite. And we can see not only does it have a really awesome animation. Look at that. We get these nifty we get the nifty little um, lumen symbols showing up. It's so cool. I like it. These uh these blocks look cool as well as uh, being functional. With this infinite capacity on uh, this high pressure rotary craft pipe, we're quickly filling this enormous tank. And boop. That's awesome. But of course you can fill this whatever you, with whatever you want, you know, you can fill it with jet fuel, you could just use it for water. You could get a lot of water in one of these. So we're up to five thousand uh, buckets. Of capacity 
um, which is the equivalent of 5.2, 500, uh, 5.2 million uh, millibeckets. Remember that this maximum capacity on this thing is uh, 200,000 buckets. Yeah, that's a lot. And uh, it's going to take a while to get there, I would think, because of um, the, the tank would probably end up being extremely large. We're all right. We're only at We're at about 10,000 now with 41 block tank blocks. And you're not going to need this divided by whatever to get there. Because as you add more blocks, it's going to increase exponentially. But we're currently at about 10,000. And you can go up to 200,000. So these tanks can be extremely large. They can also be an irregular shape. As long as they're connected so you don't have to build just big squares although I would I, I'm, I'm not sure what the um, sort of resource requirements are um, computer wise for rendering all this although um, with most of Reika's things they don't really add lag a lot of people accuse him of adding lag but it really doesn't it's just people that don't know what they're talking about there was another mod that added multi-lock tanks like this that you could do in any shape the problem with that mod, I think, if I remember correctly, was that if you did really weird shapes, like really long lines and turns and stuff, it would start to um, create some lag. I don't think this is going to do that. We're up to 45,000 uh, buckets at 80 blocks. So yeah, you could actually build a, a, a house out of this <laughs> and have your walls full of liquid. <laughs> now that's interesting. Uh, that would be an interesting thing. But because you can make this tank in any shape, you can actually build with this and make a tank room. A room of tanks. You can see now that we're not filling this liquid level nearly as quickly because it's, the capacity has gone so high. We're up to 58 million millibuckets. So you, you're going to get into the billions of millibuckets before this is full, before you've maxed one of these out. Uh, it was pretty cool. We're up to 58,000, so we may as well keep adding blocks. Because we're actually getting to a non-trivial percentage of the maximum. So let's just max out this tank at 200,000 buckets. 108,000... Hundred and forty one thousand hundred and fifty seven thousand hundred and seventy four thousand hundred and seventy seven thousand hundred and eighty five thousand we're almost to two hundred thousand hundred and ninety two hundred and ninety six two hundred thousand block. Uh, 200,000 buckets. 143 blocks. But it went higher. <laughs> and we keep going. So, I don't actually... It says in the book... If we look at the book. Maybe the book's outdated as far as that goes. The capacity of this... Oh, no, no, no. The capacity of this is 2 million buckets. That's right. So we're currently at uh, 238,000 buckets, and the maximum capacity on this is, is in the millions. Um, do I dare try to get to 2 million? Okay, I think we're going a little bit insane here. Now we're at 405,000 right now. So, uh, as you can see, if I clean up some of this ridiculousness, that you can get an extremely large tank with crystal tanks. I don't believe, at least there's no other mod that I've personally used that has a tank that can get this large with this much capacity. So if you've got Chromatic Craft and you need a lot of liquid stored, um, 
there, you're not gonna find a better, higher capacity tank. I don't think, anyway. I mean, there are way, there are lots of ways in other mods to store liquids in like one block with like super overpowered things. 1.2 million. Yeah, I'm gonna go to 2 million. But um, they don't look as cool as this either. I like, I love all the little um, the lumen symbols showing up on the tank. 1.6 million, we're almost to maximum capacity. 1.7 1. 1.8 1. 1.9 2 million and it's not going any higher so once you reach 2 million buckets which requires you to add 290 crystal tank blocks. You can add more, but it's not going to increase the capacity. The capacity is capped at 2 million buckets. Um, which is pretty darn huge if we look at the capacity in this. That's billion. Is that in the billions? I mean, I know it's in the billions. Is that in the... Uh, 1.96 billion? Oh wait, it's going up. There we go. So that's the true maximum capacity, 292 um, crystal tank blocks to get us to 2 billion millibuckets. So there we go, the crystal tank. It can get very, very large, but you don't have to make it in a giant cube. And it can store an enormous amount of liquid. I dare anyone to legitimately fill the 2 million buckets. I mean, I know you could do it with enough time, but is there a mod you can think of where you can fill this entire thing in a reasonable amount of time without cheating? I'm sure if you set up enough dew point aggregators for Murdery Craft, you could fill this with water. Um, but yeah, this is pretty awesome. I like the crystal tanks. They look awesome, and they uh, they store a ton. So extremely useful uh, block, multi-block. Um, if I filled this with jet fuel, I would probably have enough energy for, uh... I'd probably have the energy equivalent of a small nuke. I don't know. Somebody should calculate that. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like and comment the video if you did enjoy it. Uh, join the Discord if you'd like to uh, talk with us. I'm not there as often as I'd like because I work a lot, but uh, other people are there. Even Rank is there. But if you're going to go to the Discord, don't bug him. <laughs> don't, like, spam Rekha. That's not nice. Um... But yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, recently, the YouTube analytics got a little weird. I think YouTube did some sort of subs uh, subscriber inactive purge. Uh, lost about 100 subs that last month. Um, went to the negative for the first period in the channel's history. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate that uh, you stick with me. I appreciate that um, you keep coming and that you keep watching. So uh, thanks again. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.